Hi everyone, thank you for coming and watching my Bluebell vlog for 2020. Um, this year we've been absolutely blessed to have um, a week of sunshine um, for the Bluebell season, which is really unusual. Um, every morning, well, has been and is forecast to be um, still with blue skies, um, so it's absolutely perfect for photography. Um, so I am out for pre-sunrise and um, this is day three um, and I've got two more days well I think there's three more days of sunshine due um, so I will bring you on my um, journey every day um, yeah and I'm really pleased how it's coming out so far it's worth noting that I'm recording this on my phone um, so don't expect anything too um, fancy um, I can't seem to sort of get the, quite the quality that I'd like to but my main priority is to take really nice pictures um, and then to share them with you um, so I hope, I hope you can appreciate that and apologies if I'm sort of pointing at a speck of the distance uh, another word of warning <laughs> um, I'm um, I keep, I keep forgetting that I need to shoot everything landscape so some of the clips are being recorded portrait um, yeah yeah because this is basically this is all going out on Instagram and then I'm going to compile everything together to um, bring it into a YouTube video but I hope you really enjoy um, the next few days and all the content and thanks for watching So just quickly actually before we begin, um, I thought I'd just quickly go through what gear I'm using. So it's a Canon 5D Mark IV um, and a Canon EOS 1V, uh, which is a film camera. And then the two lenses I'm mainly using, well I am only using really, is the Canon 24-70 2.8 and the Canon 70-200 2.8. Um, I'm not really using any filters. I've tried to use a, a polarizer um, for a couple of the shots so far, but yeah, I like to just sort of get them as it is really. And I don't, I, I'm a bit, I, I bought a polarizer last year and I'm not 100% I'm convinced by it. I'm sure there's a lot of uses for it, but um, yeah, for my style, I like to see see the pictures as, as I took them. Um, without sort of too much sort of filtration and things so to start this series i have three vlogs which i recorded last week and i shared on my instagram page um these are all of me photographing bluebells last week um just in local bluebells again um but it's before we had this week of guaranteed sunshine um, and these were shared on my instagram page originally um if you want to go and check that out it's at craig Payne photo um, please do follow if you feel feel like it. Um, you'll also see a lot of my wedding work in there, as long as my country life work. Um, my wedding work is sort of my, my normal income, um, and then the country life stuff is sort of done in addition to that. Um, and then I also produce the calendar each year. Um, yeah, and you'll, you'll, you'll tell these recorded last week because the facial hair was nowhere near as long. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how long it will last but um yeah this is going to be something that i was jokingly said that i would keep for the whole of lockdown um so it could be a while yet <laughs> but hopefully not hopefully not crikey yeah it'd be lovely to to do another wedding um i'm really looking forward to the next wedding um yeah hi everyone today i've taken a walk into local bluebell woodlands um and as you can see the camera's all set up i'm just waiting for the light to be absolutely perfect here I actually took a photograph in the sand pits um, behind here of the bluebells and that was featured in my calendar a couple of years ago um, but I'm just waiting for the light here as you can see the camera is waiting so I will show you what I'm taking so as you can see the light is falling really nice on this little selection of trunks and what really stood out to me was how each one is, is spiralling up in a different way to the next. Some are coming outwards, some are inwards. Some this this near um, this middle one here that's really caught the light is relatively straight, um, but they all will have this really nice selection of leaves coming off them that is catching the light lovely. Um, I came by yesterday; it was a lot stiller, 
and whereas today there's a lot more movement in the leaves if I bring you back here you can sort of see the composition that I'm going for it's really nice and simple just focusing on the um, on the trunks and in the background here I'm using this um, other selection of trunks in the background here just to give it a bit more interest and um, with lots of blue girls in the foreground here and then to the left we have a nice dark trunk to, to end the picture as well. So what first grabbed my attention when I was walking through here, the public footpath runs down here, is this really impressive um, beech tree. Um, but it doesn't have any bluebells around it, as you can see. Um, it's just um, just got a nice bit of gully, uh, what sort of a runoff water gully there. But you've got this nice sea of bluebells, and on the right here you have all of these young um, beech trees. Um, I think I think that beech. Um, and I love that contrast between the old tree established and the new trees not very established and that these are fighting for room while he's or she um, has sort of got their space and their, they've found their, their place in the woodland etc. Um, but trying to sort of come with a composition has been really tricky. So in the end after sort of considering a few different options I came up with this one and I really like this. Um, as you can see here and the idea is that on the left hand side here you've got the beech tree and on the right you've got this battle going on between all the saplings and meanwhile you've got this sort of river effect of bluebells running through and with the late afternoon sun coming in from the right hand side over here um, you're getting this really nice directional light coming through and what I'm just waiting for is, as you can just see here now the sun has just picked up a bit of this beech tree um, just to sort of give you a bit of character, otherwise this is just this, a lot of black. Um, so I'm now going to take a shot actually because that's about right. Um, yeah, and I think it should be a really nice picture. So even after three days of trying to get the composition right, I've just had to change it again. Uh, I'm now crouched down. <laughs> um, by crouching down, so this is me stood up. And then this is me crouched down. Um, by crouching down, it, it's, it's just making the focus more about the tree, um, and you don't get so in, much interference from this 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 nearest younger tree. Um, it also brings out this tree really nicely. The one trouble I'm having is that on the right-hand side of here, we've got this really distracting um, light hitting um, hitting these trees this side. Um, so it's just a case of waiting for the light to come off of these um, but I'm just taking shots um, just in case that doesn't happen <laughs> um, yeah we'll see so instead of just photographing a sea of bluebells as lovely as they are um, I was trying to look for a really nice little clump and I found this really nice clump um, here and as you can see we have um, these two birch trees directly behind them well one's directly behind them and the other's further, slightly further behind uh, along with um, these three in the background here and we also have this little bit of bracken that's growing up so what I'm doing is I'm taking a portrait picture uh, ends up looking something like that. Um, that focuses on the bluebells, but then uses the bracken, these three um, trees, and then the two main trees in the foreground um, to frame these. Um, it's just adding a few dimensions to the picture um, rather than just having some bluebells. What you'll notice with the final image is that um, the bluebells have got some light on them. Um, you can see this pool of light that's just um, going, working its way up the trunk and all the, the, the light behind. Um, it's six o'clock here, um, so the sun is really low in the sky. Um, and this is perfect because you get this really soft dapple light. Um, you can just see this little patch here that's sort of working its way down as the sun sets. Um, so I'm, at the moment there's no light on it. 
um, but the final image should have some sort of nice light just highlighting the, the bluebells.